Now imagine being all alone in the world, far away from any person, surrounded by a forest and under the open sky. It feels pretty great at first, as if finally you're free. But something strange starts to happen. Your thoughts get darker, your mind starts playing tricks on you, and whoa, suddenly being alone doesn't feel that good anymore. This is the hidden danger of living off the grid by yourself. Can you handle what your mind might do when there's no one else around? Living off the grid sounds peaceful, a way to get away from all the noise and stress of everyday life. But there is an overwhelming challenge, loneliness. When you are alone for long periods, your brain may start working differently. Your mind will begin to conjure up its tales if there is nobody else to talk to. You'll be scared, full of fear, or even hear things that are not there at all. This is because your brain tries to make meaning out of silence, so sometimes it imagines things. Because humans are meant to be with others. We need to talk, laugh, and share our thoughts to stay happy and healthy. Without that, our thoughts can get mixed up, and we can start to feel lost. This is when the concept of dark psychology comes into the picture. Dark psychology shows us how our minds can be a deceitful place. When one stays alone for too long, the brain starts tricking them. You might start thinking of unreal things, like danger where there isn't any, or somebody watching you when you're all by yourself. These thoughts can just make one feel lonelier and more afraid. And before he knows it, his mind starts to play against him. Some even lose touch with reality and start believing their own thoughts, which are not logical. This is the point in time when living off the grid no longer equals an escape, but further translates into a dangerous pitfall for one's mind. How do you keep yourself safe? The key is always keeping the mind busy and connected with real life. You can achieve that by sticking to a daily routine. Get up at the same time each day and set small targets as well as always keep active. Even better, try to find ways to interact with others, even if it's just talking on the phone or sending messages. It's also important to remind yourself what's real and what isn't. Writing down your thoughts can help you see things more clearly. And remember, if you start feeling too alone, it's okay to reach out for help. There is no shame at all. One might need to speak with someone. Living off the grid can be a thrilling adventure, but you should also realize its potential dangers. By understanding how your mind works, you can better be prepared for the challenges of being alone. Keep in mind that your mental health is equally important, just like how you care for your body. Care for them both, and your off-grid experience can be everything you hoped it to be and more. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it, and don't forget to subscribe for more information and tips on off-grid living and mental resilience for wherever you are.